What's up everyone, it's June 1st, 2012. This is gonna be the first of a few videos that I have planned. Um, this one is gonna be the records I picked up in the month of May. I guess I'll probably just try to do it on a monthly basis and just show you guys what I picked up. I also um, am gonna be putting links in this area of the video um, so you guys can actually hear some of the records that I um, mentioned. Not all of them, but just selecting a few. Um, and I'm, I wouldn't put in this video because my videos are monetized now, and I don't want to get, um, you know, caught or anything for including copyrighted material. But um, got a decent amount of stuff, about three crates worth. Uh, so just uh, see what I got. A lot of it's off eBay. A lot of it's from. You know, garage sales and the usual so I'll try to tell some stories if they come up so this is the last one I left off with in the previous video James Brown and then these are from eBay Sweetwater so for the glare Lord Such and Heavy Friends Cannonball Adderley Accent on Africa. Clarence Wheeler and the Enforcers. Natural Life. It's like a private press funk album. Forevermore. Words on Black Plastic. Mighty Groundhogs, Miles Davis Place for Lovers, Prestige Reissue, um, let's see, this next group I actually found outside of Record Surplus, someone I guess had tried to sell their records there and they turned down a lot of them so they just left them on the curb down the street and luckily the day that I went they were still there so uh, a lot of these are lame but this is some stuff like some stuff I got for free so Hugh Masekela Sea Level Superman album CV Wonder Intervisions Xavier Kugat and his orchestra um, some Korean album Mother's Finest, The Police, Henry Mancini, Breakfast at Tiffany's soundtrack, another Masekela album, I already have that one, and Milt Jackson Orchestra. So that finishes this crate, uh, since most of it was already shown. I'm going to try to change the camera angle here so there's less glare. I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this angle. I was watching the previous video, some of you guys might be wondering why I have this uh, Pampers box. Just to explain that, there's records in there. Someone sent a bunch of 45s in that box. I guess they had nothing else. Um, I'll be going through those later. I haven't even touched those yet. Okay. And these right here are part of the hip hop collection I bought. Made a video about that. Um, I'm keeping about 600 or so of them, of the the really best stuff, and the rest of them I'm trying to sell on eBay. Uh, put my link down there in the description. Have uh, some auctions going on this week. I've already made my money back through that, so that's good. Um, just giving me more money to buy better things. But okay, next is uh, more free stuff I found on the curb. So nothing, or not all of it is stuff that I would really. Uh, buy on my own, but I just took it because you know what the hell. So, um, Pink Panther, Henry Mancini, Jim Mullen, and Dick Morrissey. Don't know what this is, but it's on Embryo Records. Uh, still getting clear here. Sam Cooke, you send me. Talking Heads, Main in Light, classic. Talking Heads 77. There's like a few random things that didn't have covers. But uh, I'll sort those out later. Smokey Robinson, The Miracles, 
think a compilation. I'm really getting tired of Motown. I've kind of played out everything from them. Temptations. Richard Groove Holmes. Not to say that Motown isn't good, of course, but it's just I'm really getting into more obscure music now. Um, I'll make a couple other videos about those topics, though. Paul McCartney, Ram. Clark Terry. What did he say? Gloria Lynn. Mini Riperton, Come to My Garden. It's a classic one. I think it was in... Oh, yeah. See? Cracked. But... I found that cracked records still play sometimes, but I don't know, we'll see when I get to that. Barry Galbraith, jazz guitarist, doing some kind of instructional record. Aretha Now, like my third or fourth copy of that. The Stair Steps. And Bird Songs of the Mesozoic. No idea what that is. Plus, I haven't been there in about a month now since I stopped interning, so I think these are the, a couple of the last things I picked up from there. Uh, soundtrack for the film Z. Wayne Shorter, Native Dancer. I think this was kind of a whack record, but just got it. What the hell? Tom Brown. Magic, Stevie Wonder, Music of My Mind, Small Faces, uh, Blue Notes 78, I'm usually not a fan of any music on 78s, just nothing really interests me, but Blue Note, so thought I might as well pick it up, Sweet Honey, Sorry. In the Rock, it's like a gospel, maybe. I forgot. Bob Marley, another copy of this album. Steve Gillette, kind of a random singer on Vanguard. Could function. All the King's Horses, Grover Washington. A lot of these I'm probably going to try selling at the next Beat Swap Meet which is coming up next weekend. I'll put details down there about that event too. Another bag from Record Surplus. Forty fives picked up that day. Lorendo Almeida, some Bossa Nova on Capital. Tequila by the Champs. I think this is a reissue or something. Uh, Rolling Stones, Undercover of the Night. Another cover related purchase. Biff Rose, kind of a corny cover. Batdorf and Rodley, I don't know what that is. Manfred Mann's Earth Band, King Curtis, and Jack Dupree. Jack Korea, Return to Forever. Sugar Cane Harris. Herbie Man, Brazil, Bossa Nova, and Blues. I kind of have way too much from him. Eddie Kano, Kano. Coleman Hawkins. 
Merle Saunders, Jerry Garcia, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of people. Rory Gallagher. Tattoo. And Sergio Mendes Trio. More Bossa Nova stuff. They would make these bags a little bigger. All right, now on to better things. These ones came from eBay. Uh, Fausto Puppetti and that uh, Italian saxophone player. Again, a cover purchase. This is a really good one. Um, I think I showed this in a past video. Ninth Creation, Falling in Love. So this is my second copy of this, but this one is sealed. So it'll probably be like an, for my archive. I'm not going to touch that one. Natural Elements bust mine with paper chase uh, natural elements is a really good underground hip-hop group um, I'm planning on making a video about uh, indie hip-hop or random rap as it's called uh, basically a genre of subgenre of hip-hop that's consisting of stuff from basically like the late 80s to the late 90s like the Mostly, people only put out one 12 inch or two, and it's uh, usually just the the real raw boom bap sound. Uh, I have a few records I picked up from that genre, some of which you'll see later in this video. But uh, Natural Elements, that's a really good one. Quasimodo, Microphone Mathematics, classic. Fela Kuti and Ginger Baker. Um, I'll basically pick up anything by him. I'm really getting into Afrobeat type stuff and uh, more obscure rhythmic music. David McCallum. This has the song The Edge, which is sampled by Dr. Dre, produced by Axelrod. This is. I forgot the name of this group actually. This is just a. An auction I picked up along with this one, Mad Lib, um, just because it looked cool. It's kind of like a instrumental psychedelic modern times though. So it's pretty good from when I previewed it. group came from a random guy selling a bunch of records uh, yeah pretty good stuff for I think a dollar dollar a piece some 45s too which I'm not going to be in this video they're in my pile over there but here's what I got from him Houston Fearless David Newman and Roy Ayers on the avenue TJ Magic Mike and MC Madness Rodney O and Joe Cooley Starting to get into more 12 inches, uh, a lot of obscure stuff, especially if it's like electro, iced tea, uh, the coup, genocide and juice on wild pitch, lighthouse, one fine morning. This is Ken Nordine, who's a spoken word guy. The collectors. Led Zeppelin too. Zeppelin's one of the few bands I haven't really ever listened to, but um, I just listened to Led Zeppelin four the other day. It was really good. Doors, Soft Parade, Curved Air, Curved Air again. Uh, 
crowbar, I guess who this is. Yesterday's new quintet. Mad Lib. Awesome. These are all really good um, finds, and I made sure of that using my portable turntable. Basically, everything that I'm buying now has to be like 100% something I would want. Herbie Hancock. This is a reissue of this album. By the way, uh, the uh, Shook Ones Part 2 sample came off this album, I believe. They discovered that sample pretty recently, finally. Kenny Burrell, God Bless the Child on CTI, Heat Wave, Central Heating. Margie Joseph on Volt. Lenny White, Adventures of Astral Pirates. Tony D, dropping funky verses. Check this guy out. <laughs> Kenny Gill. Parliament Live, David T. Walker, second copy of this, DJ Shadow sample in there, Roberta Flat Quiet Fire, duplicate copy, Lenny White, Venusian Summer, this is a really, really good album, um, The it was in my sample discoveries video, uh, the song that was, that sample this was on the Mushroom Jazz compilations, so that's good. Herbie Hancock, my point of view on Blue Note. Sly Stone, early album from them. Lee Morgan, the rump roller. The corporate body, Prospectus 69. And the lipstick soundtrack. Alright, on to the next crate.